in the time of uh, Allah, you were always critical of this so-called fourth floor boys. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. The thing is, now we have a new prime minister. Do you think there is such a thing as you know, still the fourth floor boys advising the new prime minister? Well, I don't know what floor they are on, but <laughs> okay. I think there is some evidence that there are uh, people uh, like the fourth floor boys, same uh, category. But which floor, I don't know. <laughs> you mean uh, maybe it could be by remote control from somewhere? No, I don't know. Maybe you are very suspicious man. <laughs> Uh, won't the opening up of the local economy jeopardize the Malaysian players? Won't, is it possible that we won't be able to compete to the bigger companies? Well, uh, you have to be very careful because these foreign people, when they come in, uh, they have no loyalty to the country. They come in to make money. If they cannot make money, they go out. And when they go out, uh, we have to pay the price. But in some instances where they come in in order to build factories and produce things for export, that's fine. But when they go into the market, that's not good. I was reading about my speech in 1997 in Hong Kong. That's precisely what I said. Long time ago. Except that uh, Najib just copied his, own, uh, his policy and his time. On that, uh, with you. Who, with Anwar? Uh, Anwar. Oh, I have stopped agreeing with him. <laughs> <laughs> you see, because for him, everybody is conspiring. The court is conspiring, the police is conspiring, the attorney general is conspiring, and he will not have a fair trial. So he has already told foreigners that he is going to be convicted because the trial is not fair. But of course, uh, when if he's not convicted, you see, there you are, I'm, I'm innocent. Uh -huh. So, you, it is called a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. Dude, Hindra has uh, embarked on a nationwide demonstration against today. Mm -hmm. Why are the Indians still so unhappy today? <laughs> I don't know. I think we didn't bring them here. The British brought them here. And it is quite correct for them to ask for one million dollars per Indian uh, compensation from Britain. Uh, I would support that. I would like to tell the British government, please give one million dollars, because that will solve our political problem. So, a month ago at the bloggers' gathering, you accused the mainstream media editors of self-censorship. And now, a month on, none of them have come back to refute your allegations? Are you surprised? Well, I'm not surprised at all. Even during my time, they do exercise self-censorship. Uh, but self-censorship is practiced not only in Malaysia, but in many countries. You have to tread very carefully, because if you don't, you are going to fall. So people control themselves in order to live. Do you be campaigning for past and for BN in a long-time violation? Who? You, 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 you. Me? No. Me? No. I think Kairi should go. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that BN loses, send, send Kairi. Because he's the only uh, youth leader who is uh, told by Amno, please don't come and campaign because you will make us lose. Can we call you on that? Huh? We call you on that. You can? No problem. The youth leader cannot go down and campaign. Not only campaign, but to try and revive Amno also. And the, in the future, it's the young people who will make the difference. The Saloran 2, 3 and 4.